the definition that I have a kind of if I kind of pull it all together and try to summarize it in a short definition, here's how I would put it. Uh, input is an awareness of an awareness and an ac acquisition of resources that have utility that can lead to productive resourcefulness. I think people who have input really see the value in stuff and stuff can be all over the place in terms of what it is. It's, it's obviously about information for many people. How people kind of consume that information can vary I think from person to person. I think traditionally maybe a number of years ago people with input would have been primarily about books but I think that has expanded with the uh, the access to information that we have in the internet so it's websites it's apps uh, uh, I think it, it can also be about tools I have a brother-in-law has input I think he may have every crafts tool created by craftsmen in his in his job he's he's resourceful in that way he kind of like gadgets too he's kind of a gadget guy I think there's a little bit of MacGyver in input as well possibly <laughs> um, I think you can also be about tools and curriculum I think part of the reason um, you know a lot of people come to programs that I lead I think a lot of people have input and they are kind of intrigued and uh, and interested and want to kind of acquire the, the strengths finder as a tool they really see its value as a tool and I think that has a lot to do with input obviously it's a, it's a strategic thinking theme and I think these these resources that uh, that that people with input acquire I think have the potential to help them think about the world and about themselves in different ways and in in productive ways um, I think the metaphor that I often use with this this theme is the the metaphor of a sponge and uh, just like a sponge is absorbent I think people with input absorb stuff and it's there they, they can be kind of selective or sometimes they're not very selective depending on other themes that they have but they they absorb it now I tell people the purpose of a sponge is never to be a permanent container hmm. in fact when a sponge holds on to stuff a little bit too long it starts to smell a bit but really <laughs> a sponge is a really a dispenser a transporter if you will from one place to another and I think that's at the core of the, the core value I think of people with input is their resourcefulness they are full of resources and I think the best resources are the ones that I mean the, the people who have really maximized their input are people who have really been able to get the resources that that have the most utility that help them that help other people and I've obviously seen this in <clears throat> Mr. Shields here um, I think some nouns that go, and I think we could have better nouns. Some of these nouns don't capture the essence, these nouns and adjectives. I think we could have better ones. I'm just going to be honest here. Archivist, librarian, collector, absorber, cur curator, resourcer, circulator are all kind of words, at nouns that could be used. Adjectives could be resourceful, collecting, uh, inquisitive, utility aware, generous, well-read, investigative those would be kind of some some words that I would use um, in terms of the uh, the frequency of, of, of this particular theme actually in our database which is really kind of surprising to me this is number six on the list in our database hmm. 20 percent of uh, our database of 11 million people have input in their top five and again I think part of the reason is they are probably attracted to the strength finder as a tool they see the utility in this thing and so they they want to acquire it they want to have it as a resource that they use for themselves and others I mean that's just my non-scientific explanation of that the theme that is most likely paired with input is intellection there's a kind of a, almost a, a 45 percent odds that if you have input you will also have intellection high in your profile and that makes some sense to me they both are kind of strategic thinking themes I think to some degree I think uh, input is a bit more kind of practical it has a it has a kind of an application side to it and maybe that's what it adds to to intellection the theme that's most likely paired uh, with self-assurance was was a bit surprising to me but as I thought about it I think I can see why that might be the theme that is least likely paired with input is self-assurance 
Now that's part of that's a, it's a statistical artifact of that because there's not much self-assurance in the profile, so there's just not that many. But to some degree, I think people who have self-assurance are primarily confident in themselves. And I think to some degree, the person with input also has some confident in the confidence in the resources mm -hmm. that they that they've gathered, that they distribute. So that would just be mm -hmm. one way to kind of uh, um, explain that. Um, in terms of other themes that could help to have an impact on impact, themes that might uh, moderate or intensify input. Obviously, I think learner is a theme that kind of intensifies input. Both of them are are kind of curious and inquisitive, and uh, so if you take this this kind of burning curiosity and this this uh, this inquisitiveness of input and put those together, I think they really kind of feed. E it's kind of like if you've got learner and input, it's like one plus one equals three. Um, I think to some degree intellectual. <coughs> that theme that most likely goes with it. It says some of the most valuable resources will come from the powerful and pro pro productive reflection. I think that's part of maybe how people with input sort through their themes, how they come to understand the, the value of them. Some themes that really could maybe moderate or manage input a little bit might be discipline. Uh, resources that aren't organized and accessible are worthless. <laughs> if I can't find it, <laughs> I can't share it. Uh, this theme will bring order to your acquisitions. I'll be interested to talk to Stephen about his uh, his kind of ordering of his acquisitions. <laughs> um, focus. This theme could help clarify goals and prioritize priorities, and that could help you decide what to keep and what to get rid of in terms of the the resources you have so both of those discipline brings kind of order to the the resources I think focus helps to kind of uh, maybe help decide which resources to kind of acquire or which ones to get rid of 